Good morning. And I've got a slightly different one for you this morning because what I want to talk about is Android and specifically how to extract an APK file from a phone or another Android device. And you might be asking, why would I want to do that? Well, the reason you might want to do that is because you may want to sideload an app onto a device that doesn't support that particular app. So, for instance, I've got a GPD XD and I wanted to install this one here. Can you see it? Microsoft Game Streaming or xCloud as we all know it. And unfortunately, the GPD XD doesn't support that particular app. So how do you do it? Well, what you need to do is sideload it. But when you go in and you look at a lot of sites and it tells you to sideload an app, it'll say, oh, download the APK. Now, I've done this before, but if you're thinking about it, there's two obvious problems with this. The first one is if you go into a website that you don't recognize and you're downloading an APK, you can pick up malware and all sorts of things. The second one is allied to that, but slightly different, that if you go into a website and download an APK, it might be an older APK and it may not be up to date and have all the latest bells and whistles. And that actually happened with xCloud. When I downloaded the APK of xCloud, the version I got was a lot older than the current version. So how do you get around that? Well, the simple way to get around that is actually get hold of the APK from another device you've got. Obviously, if you don't have another device, that can be problematical and there are ways around that. And if you're interested in knowing how to get hold of the APK directly from the Google Play Store, then I can make a video talking about that. So if you're interested in that, let me know and I'll make a video about that as well. But for now, we're just talking about how to get hold of the APK from your phone or other Android device that supports that particular app. So what you need to do is you need to get hold of a file manager and the particular file manager I'm using here is File Manager Plus. So you need to go into the Google Play Store and as you can see, it's there already, but you'd need to do a search for File Manager Plus. Once you've done the search, if you look one, two, three, four, five, it's the fifth one down. Now, when you look at this video, it may have changed because there may be other file managers on there, but the one you want is the one that looks like the little folder with an F on it. And it says File Manager, and then it says Flashlight Plus Clock. And uh, it says it's installed here. What you would do is you would select it and install it. And then once it's done, obviously I've got it installed already, but once it's installed, you go back to your main desktop, if you like, and find the app and open it up. And when you open it up, you should see this screen. So let's just go out of that for a second there and go back in. You should see this screen here. Now, as you can see, you've got main storage, SD card, downloads, blah, blah, blah. The one you want is apps. So select apps. And then what you would need to do is you'd need to scroll down to the app that you want to back up the APK of. So in this instance, I want streaming because I want xCloud. So where is it? Streaming would help if I could spell, wouldn't it? So streaming. And you don't click on it. You don't just press it with your, with your finger or thumb or whatever it is you use to press on things on your phone. You press and hold. And then if you look, it comes up with various options at the bottom there. You've got backup, uninstall, share and info. The one we want is backup. And it says backed up to backup apps. And once you've done that, you've got it backed up onto your phone. But now you need to get it to your desktop. So we're going to go and do that now. So just bear with me and I will transfer over to my PC and I'll show you how to get the APK off your phone onto your desktop, ready to transfer over to your other device. So yeah, I'll see you in a moment. Right, and as you can see, we're on the desktop now and uh, apologies for it being a bit of a mess. I've been moving a few files and things across, but let's just plug the phone in and get on with getting into the APK and transferring it across. So I'm plugging it in now. And we should, yeah, there you go. It flashes up on screen. And just let me pull that across to the middle. Now, I don't know if you can remember, but it actually told us where it was located and it's in phone, backups, apps, and there you go. That's the APK file that we want. So all you do is select that and you can drag it across and I'm gonna copy it here. You can copy it or move it, doesn't really matter. 
I'm going to leave it on my phone as well, though, for now. And there you go. It's now on the desktop. And all you need to do now is plug in your other Android device to your PC. And you should be able to drag that across. And then you should be able to sideload it from the other device. Now, obviously, as I say, I'm not going to talk about how to do the actual side loading in this video, but I will make a, another video showing how to transfer this onto my GPD XD. So if you're interested in that, keep your eyes and ears open for that one. But for now, I'm done and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Bye.